Hi YouTube and happy Saturday. Tonight I'm going to show you how to configure an unlocked Linksys RT31P2 ATA and router. I got this with a box of computer stuff and I unlocked it for a close friend of mine, Scott Haley. Uh, you can see this is both a, oh, if that will focus, is both a router and in addition to a router and ATA. Let me turn this upside down. You can see there's the router part, uh, reset, uh, two phone ports there, and then the main internet connection. I have an ethernet cable connected from this to the Sony Veil laptop that I'll be using to set it up. Anyway, let me go ahead and tilt the camera up and we can see how to configure it from here. I've logged in in Chromium to the main setup page. This is mainly router setup, but I've unlocked the voice tab. And anyway, so, you, so in order to set this up, you have to connect from one of the Ethernet ports on the router to the Ethernet port of a computer. That's really important to note. I don't think you can set this up over... When, although, you know, it's possible there's some setting here that could change that. I'll take a quick look here. Anyway, so I, I went to 192.168.15.1. That's the default IP uh, slash index.htm. Um, and uh, logged in with um, admin and admin, which is common for these these routers and then I'll go do the voice tab in a second to show setup. Okay, so 192.168.15.1. Yep. Close that. Oh, okay. My Ethernet cable came out for a second. There we go. Now it should. Yeah, <laughs> it goes through quickly. Okay, so we can go do administration real quick and see if there's any options to uh, configure remote. Remote. Yeah, maybe remote administration could be what you need in order to um, configure over... Um, the WAN port from a router, you know, connect the WAN port of this to the LAN port of your main router. Um, so that might be good to note. Uh, management. Yes, from a remote location. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so the main reason I'm making this video is so Scott can see how to configure the voice settings for these, this ATA. It's very easy. Again, you log in at 192.168.15.1 and go to the voice tab. Okay, I already logged in. Um, you know, the password's common knowledge, but I'll send that to him. Uh, system, that's S ton. You don't want any tunneling. RTP is fine. Uh, you can do line one or line two. I'll start with line one. This is set up with my own account. I have that shown as SDF. User ID and authentication username need to be the same in the extension. The uh, registration proxy server is sip.sdf.org for me and, and for what he's going to do. And then you put in the password there. Okay. Call waiting. I don't see anything to alter the um, alter the uh, alter ring voltage or anything, but I guess that's fancier enterprise level ATAs anyway. Yeah, call waiting, caller ID, uh, do not disturb, and all that provided. Uh, no NAT traversal. Uh, so very easy. Um, 
Yeah, so maybe just for the sake of it to make this easier to deal with. Oh, oh, another thing. Um, before I get to that, I might enable remote uh, remote uh, administration for Scott. Uh, for voice quality, G dot seven eleven U is PCMU, um, and that works fine on on this ATA. This ATA also only works with touch tone phones, no pulse dialing, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, there's an RTP three hundred or W. Uh, RTP 54G that will both do pulse dialing and in the latter case also do Wi-Fi along with router functions. So I might go over to administration and I'm going to enable remote administration. Okay. Um, so I'll set that to something just for him. Okay. I think that's really, uh, really everything. Um, I'm just going to double check that this works after rebooting. Um, but that's all it takes to use this nice combined um, wired router and um, wired router and ATA combined from Linksys for my friend um, Scott Haley. If you have any more questions about this, leave them down in the comments section below. And like and subscribe as always. Take care, everybody.